Pitt was terrific tonight. Um, you know, obviously making shots and uh, they put five guys out there on the floor, really spread you out and make it hard to guard them. And um, we weren't near good enough defensively, you know, to keep it close. But um, they were terrific and uh, they, they put a lot of pressure on your defense when they got so many guys out there that can make jumpers. Uh, well, you guys just played SMU and now you're playing, you play mm -hmm. Pitt. Uh, they scored a lot more points than SMU did, mm -hmm. but gave up a lot more. What, mm -hmm. Is that sort of one of the big differences between the two teams? And how do you expect them to match up? Um, yeah, I, how are they going to match up? I mean, I think it'll be a great matchup. It'll be a great matchup. It'll be probably a great game. Is that who they play in yeah. the first, first round? Um, we really struggled to score against SMU. And um, we, got a, we got a young team. We got a young group. And um, so, you know, we, we have a lot, of, a lot of work to do, a lot of growing up to do. Um, it was fun, I think, for our team to see, at least in the second half, some guys do some things and hopefully gain some confidence. But um, we were able to get into the paint a little more tonight. Um, and um, we weren't able to do that on Friday night. Um, so for whatever reason, but I, I think it'll be a great matchup. I think both teams are really well coached, and um, you know it should be fun to watch. Frustrating. The, I mean, they kind of caught fire from the three-point line. You know? Yeah, definitely. You're definitely frustrating. Um, you know, I'm frustrated our our player, you know, our team because we're not getting to those guys. But um, you know, like we start the big six eleven kid in the Angane, and like we just couldn't even play him out there because uh, Jeter and um, you know, even Young was making shots, and, and those guys, uh, you know, step out and, and, and can shoot the three. It makes it really hard when you're not used to guarding uh, that type of player. So um, they put a lot of pressure on you, and tonight, boy, they were good, 13 to 26 from the three. And, um, you know, I thought, uh, I thought we, we, we certainly had a lot of breakdowns in transition, but um, they really attack you with speed and transition, and they put so many shooters out on the floor. I think in the second half, they got it to the paint a lot and scored it to rim. We were so worried about their, their shooting. Um, so uh, great offensive performance from Pitt. Coach Stallings has always been, you know, his, we played Bandy last year, actually second game of the year. And um, his teams execute with such precision offensively. And I was watching our, our, our game from Bandy. Um, and was just, you know, I wasn't real excited about coming in here and playing uh, Coach Stallings, uh, coached offensive team for sure. I guess from a stylistic standpoint, how similar looking was this Pitt team to those Vandy teams? Um, you know, the, some of the things that they were running maybe were similar, but um, I think the, 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 biggest, the biggest thing, uh, this team has a lot more size on the perimeter um, and, and th than that Vandy team had. Uh, that Vandy team was really talented as well, um, and they could really shoot the ball. Uh, but I don't know if they could put the amount of shooting on the floor at one time as uh, Pitt did tonight. But I might not be giving that a true assessment, but just based on those two games. Tim, was, was the goal to get into the middle? I mean, Quincy seemed to be throwing himself around there and kind of just getting to the rim and, and trying to make something happen. I mean, did you feel you could get to the middle? Well, uh, we felt like, um, you know, Vandy kind of gets out, in the, I mean, excuse me, Pitt gets out in the passing lanes a little bit. Um, so the floor is a little more spread out. And that's really his game, too. Um, but we felt like there was a little more space that maybe we could attack the paint off the dribble. And, you know, I thought we did a great job of getting to the paint. Uh, the problem is we weren't converting a lot, especially in the first half. We were kind of throwing up some, you know, some of the finishes were a little wild, and um, their size and their length at the rim bothered us for sure. Um, so, um, you know, the first half we kind of got in there, but we, we didn't convert. Um, second half we were able to convert a little more.